Hey guys, I'm here with my new bike. So this is the one I, I ended up buying and I couldn't be more happy with it. Um, a quick summary of the day I spent looking at bikes. I went to about three or four shops in and around Rome. Um, some I had to take a, an hour plus train uh, to, hence why it took all day. But this is the one I ended up buying. Uh, I, it was the last shop I went to and some of the earlier shops I realized more small details about what type of bike I wanted. So I knew coming into this, I wanted a gravel bike, um, but I tried a few with the drop handlebars that kind of come down like that. And I'd never ridden before, um, but I thought I'd give it a go. And I thought maybe if I don't like it, I'll get used to it. But I tried one and eh, just was not a fan. So I knew I definitely wanted the flat handlebar. Uh, I also tried a few bikes that were really nice, but they were only size L large and I needed XL and part of me thought maybe I can get away with L but no, I realized I definitely need the right size that's very important um, uh, so yeah the last shop I went to they had this bike and right off the bat I saw the color and I saw the brand Bianchi and I really if possible wanted to get an Italian brand bike uh, the only issue was that it was a mountain bike and it wasn't a gravel bike but I uh, I spent about two hours in the shop customizing, well, not customizing, but we changed the tires so they're gravel tires um, rather than the thick mountain bike tires. Um, so that way it's more efficient on the road. It's close to a road bike, but if off-road and on gravel trails, it's still got enough tread to, you know, handle the, uh, the off-road. So that, that was awesome. And it's got all the features of a mountain bike, which I didn't know I, uh, would appreciate so much like front suspension uh, some gravel bikes didn't have that and I'm really glad that this one does uh, it's obviously got the flat handlebar which was what I wanted um, it's not a very heavy bike um, but the uh, the frame is very strong um, which is yeah very good um, the specs are, are really good too I saw Shimano Dior gear set which is yeah not the top but the second best kind of gear set in that range i think um yeah the brakes and the um the pedal cranks i think they're called i did a bit of research and they're all really good really good quality and it definitely feels like it the second i hopped on it rode up and down the street it just yeah i was like i'm buying this bike and um that second as well i realized there's no way i'm selling this at the end of the trip uh, which was the the plan initially uh, just thinking about selling it now makes me sad. So I'm 99% uh, sure I'll bring this home. And uh, yeah, even if it costs me a bit, you know, a bit of money, but who cares? It's worth it in the end, I'm sure. Uh, so my setup, I've got two side panniers. I've got a backpack and a little uh, saddle bag under the seat there. And yeah, I, I, I think it's worked so far. Uh, I might put some, I've got a uh, sleeping bag in one of the side panniers. I might sit up at the front here to, to uh, distribute the weight a bit more even. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'll change my setup half a dozen times during the trip. So that's all part of it. Um, the I, I've named the bike as cringy as it might be. Um, it's Emmanuel II. So Emmanuel was the uh, name of the guy who sold it to me. And the second being, I named my, my car Emmanuel because it was Emmanuel. Yeah, very funny. But um, I figured it was only right to call it Emmanuel the second. Or in Italian, I think it's Emmanuel i secondi, something like that. Or just the Roman numerals, I guess, because I bought it in Rome. Um, the, yeah, it's, it's just almost the perfect bike. And to make it the perfect bike, I just really wish it came with a... Um, a, a matching drink bottle, you know, with the same color and... Oh, actually... No, it did, actually. So, pretty confident in saying that this is the perfect bike. 